Okay, Gemini. What do we have here? The overall energy we have is the moon here. A lot of fear, stress, anxiety, or this is just the fear of the unknown. Having no clue about what's going on in the relationship. You have no clue what's going on. They have no clue what's going on. I'm getting that there's a period of no communication between you guys, okay? And that's why no one knows where this relationship is heading. In the past with the two of swords in reverse here, either this was clarity about a situation or there was too much of downloading of information and you just didn't know which way to go, okay? This is a lot of stalemate energy also or coming out of the stalemate energy. I'm getting more like, I don't know what's happening. When I clarify, I'm going to know more. Right now, three of wands in reverse here. Someone's turning their back to the situation. Could be you, could be them, okay? But someone's fed up of waiting, sick of waiting, okay? This could be someone who's been waiting for a very long time for you to probably come towards them, okay? Or um, for you to message them or come towards them or come forward and try to bring this relationship to the next level or whatever, right? But someone's giving up on this connection. In the near future with death in reverse here, either this is someone who's returning to you from the path that you haven't ended things with and that's the same person that you're dealing with right now. So I'm getting temporarily someone's walked away or this could be some you walking away but then in the near future here whoever's walked away is coming back again okay this is you probably not wanting to end things with someone okay or this is a resistance to an ending of a negative pattern also okay we'll see what you're doing right now how you see yourself Gemini is with the emperor here okay you're taking control of the situation you're bossing up you're wanting structure you want something stable you want something committed I think what, what's happening in Gemini is that you are um, setting boundaries, very healthy boundaries, okay? You want something in a particular structure. Maybe earlier you did set boundaries and that's why things were going haywire and you just didn't know what to expect out of the relationship, nor did the other person, okay? But now you're setting boundaries, you're taking uh, the situation in your control, you're taking control of your life. That's what you're doing right now. In your environment, we have the Queen of Cups here. So there's someone here who loves you very, very much. Okay, the Queen of Cups, this is someone who's um, um, who's got unconditional love. Okay, this is someone who loves... Um, this is just someone who will just love, again, unconditionally, repeating myself. But yeah, someone who's very psychic at the same time. Okay, you could be dealing with someone, this is someone who's a psychic healer also. But again, this is someone who trusts that intuition, but someone very, very giving. Okay, always there for the other person. In your emotions, is the three of cups in reverse. So there's some situation where you're where either you don't want to be in a third party situation or this is just where you need some alone time, I'm getting, okay? The Three of Cups in Reverse can also be a lack of reconciliation, but that is a lack of reconciliation because someone needs their alone time, okay? Someone just wants to be away from socializing, but again, someone needs some time to themselves, okay? This is time to think about something. We'll see when we clarify. But with the Magician in Reverse, with the likely outcome, okay? I'm feeling that there is, you're not putting your entire skills, your abilities to manifest this to come back. I'm getting you want to, I think you're fed up of manifesting this and you're not manifesting this anymore with the three of wands in reverse here. These are both manifestation cards and both are in the reverse, okay? So yeah, either you're giving up, Gemini, you're no longer waiting for your ships to come in or you don't see your ships to coming in, okay? And you feel that your manifestations are just not going to ever come into reality. Or this is just you who's just not uh, being persistent enough, okay? Or taking action, not having the willingness to uh, continue the manifestation, okay? Okay, why is the moon here? The chariot. What is the moon? Why is the chariot here? Someone's moving forward or wanting to move forward. Seven of Wands in reverse. So there's someone who's, I think, giving up on the connection and wanting to move forward here because there's a lack of clarity. There's too much confusion or this person just thinks that there's something that is hidden. This person doesn't know where this relationship is going or this person just thinks that you're hiding things from them or they're hiding things from you. Whoever this is, right? someone's very, very determined to move forward and they're moving forward and they're giving up on this connection. Someone's not wanting to fight for this anymore because everything's in the dark, okay? Both of you or one of you has no clue where this is going. But the moon, it's all illusions, okay? It's all a lot of negative thinking. Why is the two of souls in reverse here? Strength in reverse. One more card for the two of souls in reverse. 
five of swords there's a lot of ego here like i said right could be a stalemate energy this is blocking this is blocking okay this is someone who's refusing to see the reality i know it's in the reverse but i'm getting more like someone's just not having the courage to make that bold move okay someone was probably a coward and with the five of swords there was someone who has had a lot of ego and pride maybe this could also be with the two of swords here that in the reverse that someone saw the situation very very clearly okay they were no more conflicted okay they removed the blindfold and saw the thing they saw the situation for what it was and this is someone who's given up on a connection or on a person who just was operating from their ego that pride okay this is someone who always wants to have the upper hand but again also someone who you had serious conflicts with or someone who you had a lot of communication problems the five of swords screams to me ego pride uh win under any cause but it's a no it, it, it's it's um a no win situation okay because yes with the five of swords you this is someone who probably feels that they won okay but actually they lost because this is an empty victory okay they gained nothing they gained nothing except their ego they gained nothing so yeah that's what you see clearly okay that this person is going to stay this way and that's why some there's one person here who just completely gave up maybe earlier you refused to see the reality and that's what you saw it in the past what is the three of wands in reverse and that's why you're not giving up on the situation six of pentacles because you're wanting balance you want balance in this situation okay you want equal give and take you want reciprocity you want an equal exchange of emotions conversations investment etc okay and that's something that this person is refusing to give you because with the lovers in reverse here there's someone who needs to make a choice and someone's having a very very hard time making the right decision someone needs to think from the needs to make a head over heart decision and that is what this person is not doing you could be dealing with someone who's giving to two people okay and this person needs to make a choice between you both and this is someone who's not making a choice and you're giving up on this connection or this is you who's wanting balance in this situation okay and with the lovers in reverse here you feel that you're the one who's more emotionally invested into this connection at least one person is more emotionally invested into the connection than the other that's why this person is looking for a balance right because this was a one sided situation now you're giving up on the situation you're giving up on this person because you're fed up of waiting for this person to come in correctly to you towards you what's the death in reverse yeah see the moment you let go they come in ace of pentacles someone's refusing to end the situation they're rushing in actually they're not coming in they're rushing in the moment you give up that's what i'm going to tell this the moment you give up they come rushing in someone wants to come in and now wants to offer you this commitment they want to offer this stability commitment security to you whatever you always wanted but the moment you give up they're coming in they are i can't think this shut up knight of swords ace of pentacles and the death in reverse they refuse to end this situation this is some your rela your relationship is very very it, it's not even close to an ending it's a very far from ending very far they're not letting this go they want to start something new but this time they want to offer you something tangible what is the emperor here with the hangman in reverse here with the emperor and the hangman in reverse i feel that it wants yeah see what you're doing is you're taking control of the situation and you're no more wanting to stay stuck okay this person could have kept you on on uh stagnation or you could have felt stuck and stagnant on this person for a very long time they could have put things on hold for a very long time but you're no longer waiting for this person okay you're snapping out of that stagnation you're coming out of that stagnation mode and with the eight of wands you're either you're wanting to move forward or you're wanting to communicate with this person i'm getting you're wanting to move forward you're taking control of your life your situation you want structure balance but yeah you're no longer wanting to stay stuck in the situation and with the eight of wands you're wanting to move forward not towards this person but forward you know move on that's why with the emotions of the three of cups in reverse here you're not wanting this um reconciliation let's see what is the queen of cups here it could also be uh, okay the other way of looking at it is that you're bossing up you're finally taking control of the situation you're coming out of that stagnation mode and you're wanting to communicate to this person okay you want to move things progress faster you want to pace this up what is the queen of cups here wow you're dealing with someone who's waiting for you okay 
seven of pentacles this person is waiting and watching if you're coming towards them okay because this person does have a lot of love for you too so i'm thinking that ace of look you both want this okay you both want this one person's rushing in to offer you commitment okay or you're rushing in to offer this person commitment okay because you don't want this thing to end this person is waiting for you to come towards you because this person has a lot of love for you okay they still do with the ace and the queen of cups so this person has too much love for you okay they're still stuck on you okay they are moving on but the seven of pentacles in your environment this is someone who's waiting for you to make an approach towards them because they're not getting off their throne they're going to wait for you to make an approach towards them but they're not making a move okay they're still waiting and watching if they still want to invest or if they still if they're it's almost like i'm getting like they're going to sit there watch you make a move if you make a move good if you don't they're giving up why is the three of cups in reverse queen of wands in reverse someone's no longer crying over spilt milk okay and um I'm getting someone who wants to take action, but they're not taking proper approach. This is also someone who's trying to. Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. Someone's very jealous is also what I'm getting. Okay, you could be jealous, or you could be dealing with someone who's jealous. Okay, but um, with. So what I'm getting is that there's someone here who's still not going to want this reconciliation. I don't think so, because you're dealing with the Queen of Wands in reverse here. This isn't your emotion, so I think you're very, very angry. Is what I'm getting. This is a very demanding lover or someone who's just very angry, pissed off, could be jealous. Okay, but whoever this is, right? You're moving on in your emotions. You're moving on from past regret. You're no more crying over spilled milk. But yeah, when it comes to reconciliation, I don't think you want it because you're just angry, you're just pissed off because this person just didn't make a move towards you when you wanted them to. They waited for you to come to a point where you had to give up on them. Okay, you went to to a point where you had to literally like just push them away and give up on the situation, and that is what happened in order for them to come towards you. Okay, you're like, fuck you, <laughs> too late, too little, too late, I guess. Why is the magician in reverse? Why is a magician in reverse? Someone's moving on. Why is a magician in reverse? Why is a magician in reverse? Why is a magician in reverse? Twenty one card please. I guess it doesn't want to. Sorry guys, I've been sneezing all fucking night. So yeah, with the magician in reverse and the six of swords here, I'm feeling that there's someone who's lacking the willpower or someone who's just lacking the ability to manifest things. Okay, someone's just not being determined enough to manifest this relationship. Okay, they're just giving up too soon. And with the six of swords, they're just moving on. It's like I'm getting like it's almost like this person is wanting to face the reality of the situation, and they're no more holding on to a situation anymore. Okay, they're moving forward. They want to move into calmer waters, okay? And maybe whether they get the clarity or not, they're moving forward. Probably you're even coming in with communication to this person in the near future, or they're coming towards you, right? But I don't think you're want. You, I don't think you have. Um, this person does not have the faith that things will still happen between you guys, okay? And that's why with the six of swords, this person is just moving on, moving forward with clarity or without clarity. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.